Hey everyone, welcome back to the vlog. In this video, we're gonna be packing up some crickets and freezing them to then being used for human consumption and further processing into flour and then, yeah, into other food products. So, yep, let's just get into the video. Okay, as everyone would have seen on our most recent video, we have just released some products. Mikel, who runs Crickets & Co, um, and myself have put together some products. It's just pasta, corn chips, and some flour. It's called Grub. I'll leave a link below in the bottom of the page. Uh, but anyway, what we're rolling out now is just hopefully gonna be using our Crickets for all those products moving forward. And this is just the most earliest stage where we have to remove all the egg cans, all the food, and all the water and purge the crickets for minimum of 12 hours, maximum of 24 hours. And yeah, just we purge them just to make sure we clear everything out of their system. And then once we've cleared them all out, we then pack them up and freeze them. So yeah, then we just ship them off to then be further processed into flour, corn chips and pasta. So let's get into it now. Just gonna be packing up these containers. Oh, and one more thing just before we start packing them up. These crickets, um, just an age, just to give you a little bit more information. These crickets are around about two, two and a half months old. So as we get all the containers full, we will be having younger crickets than that. We'll probably be having them around about a month and a half before we start packing them up. And the reason for that is now we've got breeders up here. Oh, sorry, not breeders. We've got pinheads. And we're just getting all the other containers sorted too. So these guys have actually just hatched. Like as of today, you can see how little they are and they're actually still white. So they've only literally just hatched this morning. But then if I jump up here as well, you can see there's a lot more that have all hatched over the last week or so. Actually, maybe the last three days because these guys are pretty white still too. So they're all hatching up there. But as we go, you know, these guys are empty here. We'll fill them up very quickly because we're doing once every three days. Um, we've got a fair amount of space left, but this will fill up quicker than you think because once every three days. Um, and then, yeah, like even in here, you can still see that these guys are still breeding eggs. They haven't run out of eggs yet, so they're still quite capable of breeding. If I just get the camera focused, you can see all the eggs in the side there. So yeah, just gotta remove all this food, um, clean up the waste as best we can, so then we can just purge them for 24 hours. And yeah, it'll be, it'll be nice to see how many we can get from one, two, three, three tubs. Won't be very much as we move forward. You can obviously see how many crickets are all in here. There's a lot more in here than there are in the previous containers. But yeah, that's just because as we keep growing and we keep getting bigger and bigger, uh, our population keeps increasing. So we should find that as we get through these tubs, there's a lot more crickets in either one as we start packing them up. So, all right, let's uh, get everything out of the containers now. And that's the other thing that we do. We have a mask as well. Uh, this is thanks to COVID. <laughs> that we discovered these, but these are just handy on the farm too because when we do start to knock all the egg cartons off and take the food out, there is a fair amount of like frass and cricket feces that blow up. So just to keep the lungs clear and the nose clear, we use a mask as well. So thank you COVID for that one.
all three of these tubs completely cleaned out from the egg cartons. You would have seen in previous videos, we've got this sieve here, and this is just to separate the crickets from the frass. Um, so all we do is we just pick this whole bin up, we tip it into here, we shake it around a bit, and then, yeah, there's crickets just left at the end. So we're gonna do that now. And then once we've got, because um, obviously you still have a little bit of, uh, like just here, I'll give you an example. See all this here, this is from like the oats, uh, where like this actually can't get sieved through. We've changed our feed, we don't use oats anymore because obviously it leaves this little husk thing there, um, which is kind of annoying to deal with. But then we've got to then put the crickets back in here, pour them onto a tray, and then once they run off the tray and whatever crickets are left, we then just put it back into the next tub over. So there might be a few crickets left on it, but that's the way we actually just get rid of the frass and then we can purge them for minimum 12 hours, maximum 24 hours without food and water. So here we go. This one, you guys have a look at them. So just here, they start to crawl at the edges if you're not careful. But yeah, they're all just in here. And then yeah, we just pretty much just sift through as much as we can. Give you a better, a better angle to work with. remember that husk I was talking about and that's the reason why we've changed our recipe our feed because there's just all that husk in there can't get that out anymore so what we do is we have to get a tray and I'll quickly show the angle again yeah I'll get it angled a little bit better so we have a tray here and now we just pick this up and we just pour it onto the tray as best we can. And we'll just spread this around a little bit. Now all the crickets, we're gonna leave this for a minute while we go and get all the other tubs out. Do the same thing, repeat it, and this is just to make sure, so after all the crickets kind of get off here as best they can, we then just take this tray out and we'll place it into one of our other bins down there. And then that way, um, obviously we don't get all the crickets, but we get as many as we can so we can freeze them. Okay, now all three of those bins are all in here, so there's a decent amount of crickets. I'll be interested to see how much um, is actually in here, like the weight of the crickets it is. But like I said before, so we've got all these crickets on here. Now, I'm not too fussed about losing these crickets. We're just going to literally just take them down here and place them into a bin <coughs> like that. And then they can just make their way off all that um, frass and coconut husk. Oh, coconut. oh yeah, there is coconut husk in there. But not also like the husk of the oats as well. So it's the same thing with this. Just take it down, gonna lose a few here. 
that's all right, we'll get them later. And then yeah, now that I've got a bit more of a clean bin, there is a bit of like coconut here, oh sorry, no, there is a bit of oat husk here as well, but we just sweep that up. But then they've pretty much got a free bin now with nothing in it and no food or water. So what we'll do is we'll leave these guys for 24 hours and yeah, we will then come back and freeze them up. Alrighty, so back here. Now there is a bit of frass on the bottom so now you can actually see that they've chilled out a lot more, they're not running around like crazy. And that's just because they've got no energy because there's no food and water in there. Now, these crickets, um, like I said, there is a bit of frost in there. That lighting's a bit bad, so I'll come around this way. But what we do again is we use our filter. So we take out the bin. And we're gonna just pull it through the sieve again. Shake them all through, a bit of cardboard in there. Not as much for us this time, so don't have to worry about it. And then what we do, got another bin here that's empty. It just makes it a little bit easier for them to all be tipped into. What you can see is all the crickets that we've got. And so we'll take it up here. And now, because that lighting is bad, I'll put you over this side and you'll be able to see. Put it down in front of here. We just have a Ziploc bag. Like this. And I'll put it on the edge here. Tip the crickets up. And we'll just get them into the bag. You see them just all coming in here now. Couple of escapees. That's all right. Got this bag full of crickets now. Try and get most of the air out of it. Sounds cruel, but it really isn't. Not compared to some animal industries, I know. But that is also what we try and do on the channel. Hang on, let me just get you guys upright so you can see me. So there's my bag full of crickets. That is nearly about a kilo and a half of crickets, so there's a decent amount in there. There'd be over 6,000 crickets. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll take these over to the freezer, put them in the freezer quickly, because we want to make it as humane as possible. And yeah, that is pack up the crickets. All right, a little fast forward in time. So now that we've got the crickets from over at the farm, we've then put them into the freezer here. And we just use the freezer in the kitchen at the moment because you know, there's, we don't have enough frozen crickets really at this stage to actually, for us to require to have like a big freezer, a whole separate freezer in itself. And over time we will, like we actually have a full setup and a full processing facility here on the farm, but at the moment we just don't have that. So we're still getting going, which is just, it's always exciting. And then we just take these <coughs> over to the scales and just show you how much it actually weighs. So in those two bins that we got, about 850 grams. So yeah, pretty decent amount of crickets, just there. So you're probably wondering where do those crickets end up? Those frozen crickets, some people will want them for their reptiles. I know that a lot of them just want to keep them on storage because they don't want to have live crickets because sometimes it can be a bit of a pain in the ass to get live crickets to you delivered actually live and they just end up dying in the travel. Um, so yeah, people will just feed them frozen crickets and that way they just don't have to worry about 
dealing with live crickets. And then the other side of it is the human consumption side. So because we're only just starting out this process, we haven't got a lot of orders for human consumption just yet. But in the future, we will then freeze them like we do on the farm. So obviously we're gonna to have to buy a bigger freezer because it could wrap up. But then they will then, we will then ship them off to a processing facility where you would have seen in previous videos on the channel, they go through like a boiling process or a rinsing process first where we wash them off, then they boil them, then they rinse them again, and then they dehydrate them or they roast them. So there is a lot of um, chances for bacteria to be killed um, along the way, but then also the freezing process is also a big part of killing the bacteria. So there's plenty of opportunities to actually freeze or sorry, to get rid of the bacteria. So we don't actually have to do too much here in the cricket container beforehand. Everything actually happens outside of the facility. Um, that way we just have the best hygiene practice possible. But yeah, like I said before, you know, the cricket facility is probably one of the cleaner processes that you ever have when it comes to factory farming or bulk farming. And you know, when you look at many other industries, the cattle, the chickens, the piggeries, like there is no other industry that is this clean or this, um, how should I say, probably the opportunity to actually stay clean and stay safe and be friendly for the environment. There is nothing that beats crickets, that's for sure. So yeah, um, that's everything for this video. We're uh, hopefully gonna be showing you more of the processing side for human consumption in the future too. With some different like bits and pieces with the recipes, but yeah, that's everything for this video. That's how we pack up our frozen crickets and that's the whole process that we do. So yeah, all right guys, hope you enjoyed the video and learned something and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.